Hi everybody, San Bernard, welcome to my channel. Kamala Munta and Omlege and on this channel, see ya. Yes, Bogama reality shows it to Alim Zanti Bessie Sizala. So when the my reviews or my recaps, see ya Pindaga 40, see Kulumama celebrities guy in my YouTube as it to Alim Zanti. If it's your first time joining me today and you happen to like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button and get Zanti guy in the notification bell. Ogoza Pelutolum Yale Zumanga Bum Sabins Omosha Sesi. Oh, fuck it. guys it's december today so we're doing all kinds of content okay it's the end of the year we are exploring we are reflecting we're doing everything okay so please check out my vlog i am still in lady smith it's our second night today tonight i guess it's our second night we're checking out tomorrow we've had so much fun you guys we've had so much fun please check out the vlog uh, for day two i have to say out of all the vlogs <laughs> <laughs> out of the, all the bad vlogs i've done on this this is like the best vlog that i have done so check it out zia kala good day too it was really we had fun you guys we had fun they we even went to ushi sanyam and i left them then babuya babuya and that's how much fun we are having you guys but we have had these trips uh guys for a number of years okay we have had these trips for a number of years our purpose at the beginning of us planning these trips was just to explore our country spend time as friends you know even our province there's so many places that uh you will be living in case at but you would like i've never seen that place so and we've had outside province uh trips too so it was just for us to be able to uh, to explore the country and have fun at the same time however you guys we're not people that are rolling in money so we had to make sure that when we plan these trips that you know it doesn't affect us financially like that but when we actually go on these trips we always love you guys we always love the comments that we get because we would be posting on facebook posting on whatsapp and people will be like oh you guys really have money you are in a place like that and you are like yo <laughs> if only they knew <laughs> <laughs> if only they knew that's the response that we get that people when you go on trips and stuff people always assume that you have money but also number two people always say how do you guys do it because with uh girls as and and other people will say with black people when you say with okay you're planning a trip everybody will be interested but as you're coming closer to the trip to the trip dates people will be pulling out people will be ignoring calls and then the trip doesn't end up happening or you'll be planning with 10 people and then three people end up going and they would be asking us what do we do what do you do because every year your trips are successful you guys so i thought that i would put together 10 uh, tips on how to plan a successful girls uh, trip you guys so take note if you want to plan a girls trip with your friends and you want it to end up happening you guys number one like i said we're not people that are rolling in money but this one trip helps us a lot plan a year ahead okay plan a year ahead planning a year ahead finding a place uh, that you're going to go to obviously uh, gives you uh, an estimation of how much the place is going to cost for a number of people that you are going with and you when you estimate the price then people can uh, also uh, do installments in terms of paying we are in ladysmith like right now it's in it's december 2022 but we are already talking about the trip that we are possibly taking next year usually our trips are in october but this year for some reason we couldn't uh, come up with the dates that worked for all of us in october so it, we, it ended up being in december but our month is usually october so we are already talking about that trip because it's important for us to know where we're going so that we can start paying sometimes it's only 150 a month that we are paying depending on where we're going and how much the place costs so it's important to plan a year ahead okay also you guys do not limit the trip to close friends say you have six very close friends you want to go on a trip do not limit the trip to just those friends because let's just say one friend loses a, a family member they can't go another friend has a baby the other one is not feeling the group they don't want to go anymore you're ending up with three people going on a trip it's not as fun anymore open the the trip to friends and friends of friends okay 
a lot of people that we are on this trip with this year were actually at some point just friends of friends they were not actually our friends they were our friends friends that had come on the trip they liked the trip they stayed on the trip they've been going on this trips uh for 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 some time now so uh, and you find that the people that brought them in are so for some trips they will not be going but they will be going so it makes the possibilities of a trip being successful uh it increases the possibilities of a trip being more successful if if you increase a pool of the people that can possibly go on a trip uh it it, it helps you a lot and also you guys have an open mind like the purpose is to go on a trip and have fun it's the purpose is not to go on a trip with these specific people and have fun so open open the pool a little bit more so that the possibilities of it happening and being successful are more have a very defined uh refund policy you guys it's very important that people understand the refund policy because a person let's say we're planning a trip for october next year we start paying in june next year and they're not feeling the group anymore they're not feeling the trip or somebody just had a new boyfriend now with the boyfriend says they, she, they can't travel they don't understand why they're taking trips with the girl a person wants the money back you've already budgeted for the trip now let's say the trip was like 2000 rand now you, that 2000 rand you have to give it back to the person it affects your budget but you're not going to be able to find a, a replacement person now in june who, who is only going to have few months now to pay you know so have a, a defined uh refined policy that is understood by everybody okay also it's important that in the group you identify each person's strength so that you can use them in planning a trip usually in our case me and my partner are the ones that actually take leadership in terms of finding the place when we where we're gonna go uh calling the people and uh, getting the quotations and all of that like basically finding the accommodation obviously the other people in the group always approve of the accommodation if they like it then you move ahead but we don't we're not the ones that actually keep the money we have a friend that we trust that we we, we all felt was really good with uh, money so that person keeps the money only with uh transfer the money when it's time to uh, uh make payments for whatever it is that we need to make payment for we've got a friend of ours that is really good with catering so that's the person that would make sure that all of the food that we need for the trip uh makes the list we buy the um the food and that everybody's accommodated if we are going to a self-catering um uh, accommodation make sure that you know we have breakfast lunch and supper but we all pitch in in terms of preparing uh the food but they will take leadership in terms of the menu and all of that at some point we had a friend who was responsible for doing our cocktails so every time we are we're on the trip we will she will make sure that she makes a list of the things we need for the cocktails and she will do the cocktails for us throughout the weekend she hasn't gone in the last uh, two trips but we had that so it's important that you know everybody's strengths you know so that you can use them in planning the trip don't have just one person doing everything you guys and then the next one make sure that you book the trip directly with the owners of the with the with the place don't book with the agency because number one that helps you the prices are different a lot of the times like it's cheaper to book directly with the person with the people of the place or the owners of the place okay and at times you will be surprised how much they're able to give you a discount if you book the trip early and also if you're coming as a group okay and people will be surprised at how much sometimes we pay for this night places that we go to and people assume we have money because maybe we've negotiated a price or because we're coming as a group they're like oh you guys that they, we can add two more rooms you don't have to pay for those two more rooms people don't know that uh, that can possibly happen so make sure you book directly with the owners of the place not the agents also guys that eliminates the risk of running into scams because there's so many so much uh so many scams online so if you actually so what i do is that when i search for the place i search for the place usually it takes you to the um uh to the websites of the agencies you look for a place you find a nice place you go directly to the website of the place then you take the number there you call them directly you have to speak to the person uh, from that place and then email them look at the email usually i don't like a uh, gmail addresses because you know a lot of the scammers will use gmail addresses so you, you need to know that okay this is a business they have their own email addresses you can see it it has the accommodation place there so it make it, it makes you feel safe because a lot of the communication will be through the phone and will be through 
uh, will be through emails. So uh, we've been planned a lot of trips where we never even see the place until the time we come to the place and we've never been scammed because we've made sure that we book with them uh, directly, you guys. And also consider bringing uh, mails, you guys. Like you can see, we've got guys on our trips and we've had guys on all of our trips, you guys. My husband will invite his friends. My uh, friends will invite their partners sometimes or their friends. I've been, we've been on a trip even with my brother has come on a trip with his uh a fiance at the time so like consider bringing men on the trip for two reasons one men power you guys there's things that you just feel like you need a man for lifting at uh, things the luggage and also you guys go buy some lilo to buy the meat and all of that but more importantly for security you always just feel more secured when the guys are around because they're the ones that make sure that everybody is safe we were at the shisanyama just now i came back early but my husband and the other guys uh, uh, stayed behind because the ladies were still having fun they make sure that the ladies because they were drinking and all that make sure that everybody gets back and everybody is safe you know so and some of these places you guys that uh, you can book and go to you actually don't even meet the owners of the place we've gone to a place um where they you would book a place everything and then when on the day that you go there they tell you where to find the key and all of that if you have an issue with maintenance what to do and all of that all the instructions are like that you don't even see them you don't see any stuff there you just go there you enjoy the place you are alone there as a group and then afterwards you lock up you put the key where you're supposed to put it you go okay so like imagine being in a place and it was like in the bushes somewhere so imagine being in a place like that and it's just you girls you never know you know so it's always good to have uh some guys there it just makes you feel a little bit uh safe okay also don't take things personal when planning a trip people might decide they want to go now they don't want to go even if you were friends with the person now no just because the person doesn't want to go on a trip they, they, that shouldn't mean now they are not your friend or whatever just be focused on the fact that you're planning a trip for whoever wants to go on a trip if they change their mind they change their mind by the way you do have a refund policy so you know they know if they cancel halfway through the planning they know what's going to happen they're not going to have issues they're not going to take it personal because when they join the group they agreed to those conditions so it makes uh, things easy the next one you guys is the activities uh, because you are normally planning a trip with adults there's going to be things that certain people are going to like and there's going to be things that certain people are not going to like this goes also with the thing of not taking things personally so if you're doing an activity and someone doesn't like the, the, to do the activity or they want to do something different allow people to, to do that allow people to say okay I'm not going to do this activity maybe you guys will join you on the next activity or actually I just want to go cheaper chill by the pool i don't want to go out of the, of the of the place to go do the activities or whatever so understand that not everybody is going to take part in the activities that you have uh, planned and there is nothing wrong with that the next one you guys is be transparent with the money be transparent with the finances people want to know when they pay their own money they want to know like i said nobody's rolling in money they they pay the money because they want to go on trips but they do want to know because the money that we will pay will be for accommodation food and drinks a lot of the time so they want to know that the money really went there so provide the invoices provide the proof of payment provide the slips even after the trip tell them if there's change just tell them this is the change if there's part of your money that you ended up sp uh, spending because maybe you wanted the trip to just go well and you might be sure that you spend it provide proof for that so that if they have to reimburse you they understand exactly what happened and they know for sure that the, you really did use your money so be transparent with the finances but the last one you guys just remember that the purpose of planning a trip is to have fun it is to have fun so try and not take things personally so that there is no tension uh in uh when you when you go on a trip because imagine now you have tension maybe you know because of something happened now you're not talking to one another on a trip or there's this group of people they're talking to each other but this group is not talking to each other try and avoid that and remember that the purpose of planning a trip is to have fun at the end of the day guys so that's all that i wanted to share today i hope it helps somebody to plan it <laughs> to plan their trip 
better and for their trip to be successful you guys please like the video before pumegona and in the comment section please tell me what your experience has been in traveling or planning any kind of trip with friends or family i actually haven't really planned any trips with my family i wonder what that would be like but tell me what your experience is please like the video and share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in tanaka